launched in 1972 to explore Venus, but now it's heading straight for Earth. A Cold War relic stranded in orbit for over 50 years is finally falling. Cosmos 482, a Soviet space probe built to survive Venus, may crash through our atmosphere next week, and it is out of control. A Soviet-era spacecraft, Cosmos 482, launched in 1972 as part of the USSR's Venus Exploration Program, is expected to make an uncontrolled re-entry to Earth around May 10, 2025, after spending over 50 years in orbit, according to several media reports. The spacecraft, weighing nearly 500 kilograms and about one meter in diameter, was intended to land on Venus, but became stranded in Earth orbit due to a rocket malfunction shortly after launch. According to the reports, the Dutch satellite tracker and scientist Marco Langbroek from Delft University of Technology has been monitoring Cosmos 482's orbit and predicts the spacecraft will plunge back to Earth at a speed of approximately 150 miles per hour, 242 kilometers per h, give or take a few days. The spacecraft's highly elliptical orbit has been gradually decaying, bringing it closer to Earth's atmosphere. While not without risk, we should not be too worried. The exact location of re-entry is uncertain. It could occur anywhere between 51.7 degrees north and south latitude, covering a wide area including cities like London and Edmonton, Canada, but most likely over an ocean given Earth's surface distribution. Experts remain uncertain whether the spacecraft will burn up completely during re-entry or survive intact. Cosmos 482 was built to withstand the extreme conditions of Venus's dense carbon dioxide atmosphere, which suggests it might endure Earth's re-entry as well. However, the parachute system is almost certainly non-functional after decades in space, and the heat shield may be compromised. Jonathan McDowell of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics notes that if the heat shield fails, the spacecraft will burn up. But if it holds, a half-ton metal object could fall uncontrollably to the surface. It would be better if the heat shield fails, which would cause the spacecraft to burn up during its dive through the atmosphere. But if the heat shield holds, it'll re-enter intact, and you have a half-ton metal object falling from the sky. Despite the potential hazards, Langbroek emphasizes that the risk to people is very low, comparable to the chance of being hit by a random meteorite which happens several times a year. He notes that the odds of injury are smaller than the chance of being struck by lightning in a lifetime. Similar uncontrolled re-entries have occurred recently, such as China's Long March rocket booster in 2022 and the Tiangong-1 space station in 2018, with most debris falling into oceans. Space agencies and trackers worldwide continue to monitor Cosmos 482's descent closely as the expected re-entry date approaches. While experts believe it to be out of control, they suggest that it might survive re-entry, posing a rare but very real threat. The satellite's main body burned up back in 1981, but the landing capsule, roughly the size and weight of a car, has been circling the planet ever since. It was built to withstand the brutal descent through Venus's thick atmosphere, so Earth's re-entry may not destroy it. British-American astronomer Jonathan McDowell warned in a blog post. The satellite might well survive Earth's atmosphere entry and hit the ground, in which case I expect it'll have the usual one in several thousand chance of hitting someone. The vehicle is dense but inert and has no nuclear materials. No need for major concern, but you wouldn't want it bashing you on the head. Cosmos 482 spacecraft was launched as part of the USSR's Venera program to explore Venus. Its mission was to deliver a lander to the Venusian surface to study the planet's extreme atmospheric conditions. 
The spacecraft launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome aboard a Molniya 8K78M rocket shortly after the successful Venera 8 mission. However, Cosmos 482 never reached Venus. A malfunction during the upper stage burn caused the spacecraft to remain trapped in a highly elliptical Earth orbit instead of heading toward Venus. The spacecraft separated into four parts. Two re-entered Earth's atmosphere within days, while the main lander and upper stage remained in orbit for decades. The lander was designed to withstand Venus's harsh environment, including temperatures of 464 degrees Celsius and pressures up to 100 atmospheres. As the probe nears re-entry, experts continue to track the half-ton spacecraft.